First at noon, police are searching for a shooter after a little girl and a man were shot at an apartment building in Opalaka. Good afternoon, I'm Maribel Rodriguez. Police say the eight-year-old girl was get inside getting ready for bed when shots were fired and a man was outside and was shot. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live at the scene where he spoke with some neighbors this morning. Peter. Maribel. It all happened here at the Glorietta Apartments here just off Northwest 131st Street and Nopalaka police say there must have been more than one shooter. There were scary moments for residents. They showed me how their building was sprayed with bullets that actually entered their apartments. How many shots did you hear? Over 30. What did you think when you heard them? It sounded like a flat tire or something at first, but then I'm like, get down, get down. Prince Young and Dee Brooks both show us where the bullets pierced the windows and sides of their homes at the Glorietta apartments. It sounded sort of, sort of like, you know, the big fireworks, but you could tell it was a gun because it was back, 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 behind, you know, right behind each other. So when you heard that, what did you think? I was like, oh, no, I'm like, Oop. you know, because I was upstairs. I mean, you know, if I would have been downstairs or out here, I would have got hit. Opalaka police say an eight-year-old girl was rushed to the Ryder Trauma Center after being wounded. Neighbors say she lives in the second floor apartment right next to where a second victim, a man, was shot while on the balcony. This happens practically all the time. Not every day, but, you know, it seemed like it's like a ongoing thing. It happened around 10 Wednesday night. Young and Brooks both say they will not forget what happened here. I mean, I cried. I did cry because, like I said, I got two sons, uh, you know, that it could have been them. So I, I do sympathize with the mother. So, but yeah, I, I, I cried because, um, like I say, they're, they're a nice family. It could have been anybody kid. Like, it's, it's scary. Opalaka police are alarmed. It's very unfortunate. Uh, we're talking about an eight-year-old. It's, it's unfortunate for anyone to be harmed or injured, but we're talking about an eight-year-old who was inside of her home, um, getting ready for bed, going, getting ready for school tomorrow, now to be injured in a hospital due to negligence and, and gunfire. And Lieutenant Jenkins tells me she's getting a briefing right now from detectives. She says she does not have a motive or description of the shooter or getaway car to release. If you can help, call Miami Day Crime Stoppers at 305 471 TIPS. We're live in Opalaka, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News, Maribel. Peter, thank you.